Hey everybody, uh, I want to give you a fast update on where I am with my uh, with my transmitter here. So I'm in the middle of troubleshooting at this point. So um, I've got a few things going on here that I'm working through. And uh, I just want to make sure I give you an update because uh, some of you are following through the series. Or this odds and sods series. And um, I want to tell you what I've come across in case it ever happens to you when you're building it. So... Um, so a few things here. When you build this uh, this transmitter, uh, the best piece of advice that I could give you is check your voltages. That's going to tell you if you've got this thing dialed in. Now, um, you know, coming out of this resistors and this 10k resistor, um, you know, you want to get as close to 300 volts in the B plus here and 167 here. I'm relatively close there. So um, I think I'm at 290 something here. And probably about 180 so I'm a little high there but it's not the end of the world but my voltages are my problem so um, let's start with a V1 which is the 6 SA7 right here so on pin 3 I'm supposed to have 167 I'm actually getting about 190 I've actually wrote that down wrong um, on pin 4 I'm getting about 165 which is a little high but pin 5 is where my issue is I'm supposed to have negative 6.5 and I have 0. Similarly on pin 6 I'm supposed to have 13 volts and I have 10 and on pin 8 I'm supposed to have 15.5 and I have 11. On V2 which is the 6L6 um, pin 3 is normal. Pin 4 I'm supposed to have 47 volts I have 154. Pin 5 I'm supposed to have negative 8 I have 0 0.4 positive. And then um, pin 8, I'm supposed to have 2.9, I have 11.2. So clearly something is wrong. But I have another problem here which, um, which I have to solve. And that is, if I connect my meter to this B minus rail, which is indicated by this negative, by this uh, ground symbol, if I connect one side there and one side to the chassis, I'm getting about 200 and something volts DC on the chassis itself, right here. That's not good. That's dangerous. Um, if I take, if I shut power off and I take my meter and I just do a basic kind of uh, continuity test between the meter, I'm sorry, between the chassis and the B minus rail, nothing. So I'm getting bleed over of DC voltage into the chassis. I've already checked the tuning capacitor to make sure that the tuning capacitor is isolated. It absolutely is. It's not touching. So, putting all of these pieces together, um, really what's happening here, I'm not getting any transmitting, of course. Pin 5 of the V1, I'm getting 0 volts, right? I'm supposed to have a negative 6.5 here. But I've done some troubleshooting. So, coming down this rail, right here, I am getting about 280 volts up to this uh, capacitor, 250 picofarad. On the other side of this um, capacitor, I'm getting zero. Nothing. Nothing here. Okay? Um, that's my first observation. Um, so really, uh, where I am at the moment is, is troubleshooting and understanding if I've got something um, incorrectly installed. And remember, I'm trying to stuff a lot of things in here. And don't mind all the wires, I'm just doing some testing. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to start over on the 6SA7 tube. I'm going to rewire things a little bit differently and, uh, and see if that makes a difference. So obviously, um, if my negative bias is not working, it's not going to transmit. Right? So that's, that's obvious. So uh, that's where I am. Um, I do this on every project, as you know. And uh, this one is going to be no different. So I'm going to go ahead and start... Uh, taking some of this stuff out and then redoing it maybe a little bit differently. So uh, that's the update. I'm not really asking for help here because this is how I learn, but um, it's an interesting one, especially with the chassis being hot. I don't understand how that chassis can be hot with DC voltage when I can prove that the B- minus rail is isolated from the chassis by a simple continuity test. The only thing that connects the two is this capacitor right here. It's the only thing that connects the two, according to this diagram. All right? So, anyway, uh, I've got a mystery on my hands. I'm going to work on getting this uh, understood, 
and uh, I will come back in the next episode and tell you what I found. So, uh, so that's the story. Just a couple of last things here. Here's my transformer. I'm going to mount this up on here a little bit higher up, but right there. And uh, one of the suggestions I had for mounting the antenna was to do it on the back. And I have these little arms sticking out here. That's perfect. So I'm going to make a piece of, um, you know, something here that I can actually mount the speaker, uh, I'm sorry, the antenna connection to. So that's that. But we've got a long way before we get there. So uh, that's where we are. Over and out. I will see you guys later.